Something is wrong with the way the world is right now. Something is wrong with how things are. We keep hearing about climate change, and yet every day, every single day, we keep pumping more carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. And every society is in economic crisis. People can't afford food, they can't afford education, they can't afford their houses. And the only people who aren't suffering are those who actually cause this kind of economic suffering on the rest of the world. This way of living, this system of modern capitalism, it's really just a story. This story is not the only story there is. We can change this thing. But in order for us to change it, we really have to accept some really difficult truths. Truth one, we live in a matrix. From the moment we're born, we are programmed to believe in this value of individualism. We are told that competition is a good thing. We're taught to amass material possessions. No matter if it hurts other people, we are taught to believe that who we are rests in what we buy. And this is taught to us from the very beginning of our education in the advertisements we watch. Every carefully constructed message tells us that this is how it is and this is how it must be. Truth two, we live in a false economy. We're told we have to be grateful to rich people and corporations for creating jobs, but in reality, most livelihoods are produced by small businesses and small farmers. As the Walmarts of the world expand, they don't create new jobs, they destroy these already existing jobs. We are told that as the rich get richer, the rest of us will get richer too. Today, the richest 85 people in the world have more wealth than the poorest 3.5 billion. We're told that growth is good, that we need to grow exponentially to maintain a healthy economy. This madness has reached such a level that in order to grow at 3% next year, we have to create more than $2 trillion worth of new commodities, the size of the entire global economy in 1970, just to stay afloat. If this were happening inside of your body, we would call it cancer. Uncontrollable growth that eats through the living cells to the point of death. We are told we can solve global poverty if rich countries give more aid to poor countries. But see beyond this rhetoric. It becomes obvious that aid is flowing in the other direction. Rich countries are rich because they grab land and natural resources and exploit the human labor of poor countries. We believe that the world is run by governments and that those governments are democratic. The most powerful entities on earth are what? Corporations not governments. Businesses that operate for private profit and not public good. Truth three, the most important truth. We can change things. Everywhere, all across the globe, these myths are falling apart. Everywhere, people are yearning for a different story. They don't want to hear this story anymore. Anthropologists tell us that for most of human history, we lived in small egalitarian societies that awarded cooperation and sharing and they punished selfishness and accumulation. All we lack is the confidence to see beyond the constraints of our present story. Ideas abound. These ideas point to a better way like alternative measures of growth, or even getting rid of our debt-based currency system altogether, or removing corporate money from politics, or even putting limits on how powerful corporations can become. And we have to start by asking the hard questions as we've been told not to ask. People around the world are beginning to do just this. 
They are rising up in response to our civilization's crisis. From Occupy Wall Street to the Arab Spring, from protests in Brazil to the Chilean winter, from the Zapatistas in Mexico to the student uprising in Quebec, from the Idle No More Indigenous Peoples Movement to the transition towns across the world, these are all expressions of a new world that is possible. Will you continue as a soldier of the status quo? Will you know that destruction is on its way and still stay on the same path? Or will you stand with the rest of the world's social movements to create a better world? A world you know, I know, we know in our heart of hearts is so very possible.